up people welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl ellen faith moro akum so the other time i promised i was going to talk about what university is all about what we do some of the things that you must expect the do's and don'ts so let's get straight into the video whenever i think about university the first word that comes to mind is freedom university is a place of freedom like you'll be free you know at a senior high school you have your house mistress your master your seniors people taking charge you have to do this, do that, go here, when fresh water, do this, do that. At the university, we have nothing like that. It's like, you are free. Let's talk about academics. I mean, that's the main reason why you're going to the university. So people usually think that when you go to the university, it's not compulsory to go to class. Well, it used to be like that. I think when I was in level 100 or 200, if you don't go to class, no lecture will come and beg you. Nah, because at the end of it all, you go and write exams. And if you trail, it's your own fault. But in 2019, they made amendments where if you don't go to class more than three times in a semester, you will not be allowed to write an exams. I, to be honest, if I say just go to class because this is whatever they teach will come in the exams. So if you don't go, or maybe you are not in class, that particular thing that they taught might come in the exams or not, just go to class. Yeah, let me talk about socializing. Um, university is just a place full of fun. You can have fun anytime, any day. Just socialize a lot because like I feel like all the friends that you meet right now are the people that you meet in the future or they can help you one way or the other. So make friends, socialize. I want to talk about the fact that you need to join other groups, organizations, on campus it shouldn't always be about books i know you went there for academic purposes but one thing is okay so recently i was applying for a scholarship and then they asked me the kind of groups that i joined group that are me i joined lots of groups on campus so i was able to write a lot and notes. so i'm just saying that when you get to campus it shouldn't always be only academics like solely academics you can just join other groups to better yourself to learn a lot get certificates go for the seminars get the certificates put them down when you're applying for a school outside the country, you want scholarship or whatever, you'll be asked about all these things. So do well to join groups, different groups. There are lots of groups on campus, but I'm just saying that whichever group that you are joining, make sure it's adding up to your life and not subtracting from you. So join the best group. Like if you are also thinking about setting up a business, yeah, it's a very good place to set up a business. I started my business on campus and it's flourishing. You can equally do the same when you get to campus. Set up a business with the little amount that you have. And by the time you leave campus, I promise you, you get enough. So it's a good place to set up a business. So talking about religion, there are different churches on campus and even off campus. You are free to worship, whether you're Muslim, you're Christian, whichever religion that you fall under. There's a church for you, there's a place for you to go and worship. It just depends on you. And someone also asked about dressing, how people dress and all. Well, on campus, it's more formal. Even if you want to be informal, you can wear your jeans and then your top or anything but don't wear short short dresses because um in my school i went to KNUST and over there some of the lectures will suck you from class and all some people used to wear slippers to class and there was this lecturer who used to seize these kind of things when they bring it to class so it just depends on which school you are going to but do also be formal and even if it's informal you should be decently dressed don't just wear anything because everyone is wearing something do you understand so now let's go to money issues so if you want to save there are lots of banks on campus that you can save with. Lots of banks that will come around to ask you to save with them and all. Make sure you look out for them, look into them if they are legit or not. Because like, hey, remember what happened not long ago, lots of monies, like they took lots of people's money from the banks and all. So look out for the banks, if it's legit, if it's under um, Bank of Ghana, if it's not, don't. There are lots of people that will come around, the social saving people, when they come, save with them, you get this, you get Don't do it. If it's not a bank, don't. Done. so let's talk about feeding okay so when it comes to food one thing is students love to order for food like we love to order for food so like I said in my previous video it, the weekdays are very stressful so if you want to cook it should be during the weekend you cook everything cook in bulk put everything in the fridge but if you think you don't have any food you are very hungry you are late and you can order I mean there are lots of food services around that you can order from them and then you eat it all depends on your lajon your coding as long as the money is there you can order yeah the fact that you're going to campus the fact that everyone is on campus the fact that it's a university and you see people around does not mean that they are all students or they are all good people people are just there to steal so just be careful like people steal laptops like a lot of times so make sure you keep your laptop if it's money keep it well that's how i was suggesting the bank if you have a lot of money keep it at the bank and keep just a little on you 
keep your staff very well even from your roommates keep it very because well. like you don't know where people are coming from and also please keep your money i didn't want to talk about the health aspect because i believe you won't get sick in 2021 but let me just say it anyways proof is there's a part where you pay for medical stuff like health wise and all you pay for those things i think it's 50 cd or 100 cities i'm not so sure but you pay every semester so if you have any health issues it says go and see the doctor it's already in your school fees then you pay for it okay so so let's also talk about relationship it's very important on campus because a lot of people find their partners on campus they date and know and they get married eventually so it's possible but why i'm actually talking about this is for you to be smart like open your eyes be wise because some people are actually out there just to hurt you just to play with you just to just have sex with you and that's it so just be smart and those days when there was something like september rush the continued students would just come in for the first just have sex with them and then that's it so i'm just saying that as you're going and yeah the continued students are coming even though there's nothing like september rush anymore they'll still come be around you you know and you just have to be smart don't let anyone deceive you to enter into any unwanted um, relationship that you don't want and just focus on your studies when the time is right and you think you are ready for it you can just date the one that you want to date okay i mean too much freedom but still you have to be smart people end up having very good roommates others to have very bad roommates like some roommates actually become family and others become enemies it all depends on you please i'm just saying that when you go there just right now you've already chosen the people that you're going to the room with sometimes you don't even choose you just get them like naturally automatically but that's not the issue i'm just saying that be careful when you get there some people will even bring their boyfriends or their girlfriends to their room come and have sex on the bed yeah it happens and no um, then they'll just leave mess up the room for you please university these things are real so like as you're going just be prepared for anything I have a good relationship with them if they are doing something that pisses you off please say it don't keep quiet when they are doing something that pisses you off like say it i think you'll be good to go to the needy students who i think there are a lot of scholarships on campus with here in your city they have kids where being sir i don't know about university of ghana and the other universities because because i didn't go there i'm sure there are other scholarships there for students too so if you want the money as long as you hear that there's a scholarship thing going on please do well do well and then apply for it one thing is university is nice like you really enjoy it so you really enjoy it have a good relationship with your lectures don't be on the bad side of any lecture because if you do you end up losing lots of math so this is the end of today's video i hope you learned something maybe there's something that i forgot to mention you can leave it below the comment section whatever you want to know that i need to talk about leave it below i reply thank you so much for watching today's video if you've not watched the video on the essential things to pack for school and then things not to pack please check the description box please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's the least you can do to help me. I hope you've learned a lot, all the juicy things that you needed to know. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video.